Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com and this is just an addendum video to one I just released and um, it goes after this project. Now this is my back to basics project where I just used a scissor, a ruler, pencil, and some paper, 6x6 six six paper, to create some really cute little um, treat boxes. Uh, but I was asked about uh, making them a little bit more masculine for the boys or the guys and um, you know, one suggestion I would make is to go ahead and use uh, certainly a more muted or more masculine type of paper and that can make it look like a little satchel instead of a little purse but I actually came up with a couple of different ideas and let me show those to you and that would be these now I have one which is kind of like an open toolbox style and I have another one which actually closes the same way with a little dot opening as the first ones I did but how but I think the way, reason it looks a little bit more masculine on both of these is because um, of the way I treated the handle. Now, I did this handle very quickly actually, and it's only the addition of one thing, and that's a coffee stirring straw. And I got these at a Walmart for two dollars for two hundred and fifty, so they're less than a penny a piece. Um, but if you go visit your favorite coffee establishment, they might have a few that you could do. And these are seven inches long, and it is the straw. It's not the compressed one. I mean, they do look like they have something in there, but um, you need to be able to fit your uh, chenille stem down into it. So if you find some around that you can fit your chenille stem in, that's really good. If you just have regular straws at home, I think they would look really, really awesome too. And again, I think picking out a neutral uh, background, a neutral paper for the guys is helpful to make it more masculine looking. This one came from Lawn Fawn. I think it's really a cute, uh, nice plaid. Um, this one came from Tailored Expressions. Actually, it was part of their fall pattern collection. And um, the one I'm doing today comes from Miss Sparkle. And that's the Joanne Fabrics brand. Uh, and the, every one of these project products at Joanne Fabrics is $1.99. And sometimes they have it by three, get one free. Uh, which really makes them economical. And there's 15 sheets in here. Of, then these are the muted marble looking ones. So I'm using the red one today. And as I said, this was an addendum video. So when you get to this point in the other video, which is the Back to Basics box, um, go ahead and click from there to here. Now, if you've not seen that other video, I'll put the card coming up right now so you can click on that one and see it first because it will tell you how to get to this point. And once you get to this point, we're going to be making both this one and this one. All right, so you've made it to here, and what we're going to do before we put the box together for both of these is to actually fold it right across from that one, uh, one uh, corner, I'm gonna call it a corner, although it's not a 90 degrees, but from this point to this point on both of these wide uh, parts. We're just gonna fold it right there. And if you want to make it a little bit more accurate than just what I'm doing, you know, eyeballing it, kind of, is you can actually take your ruler and put it from side to side. So if you put your ruler from point to point, let me make sure I got that. It's kind of in the white background. And then just take, pick that flap up and kind of run your nail or run, you run your finger behind it. And it will actually give you that score area and you can just take it and fold it over. All right, so I did this for both of them. Now for this one, that's all I did. You can see the triangle down there maybe. That's all I did was to fold those down. And actually what I did is after I put the box together, I then glued that triangle down. Um, and then for this one, what I did is after I put the box together, I just folded the, the end corner of this down. So we'll, we're gonna do this one, but I'll show you what I did when I get to this point. So let's go ahead and put this box together now. And we're going to do it the same way as we did the other one. Just put the um, tape on the glue tabs. Okay, and we'll just match up those uh, fold lines with this side of the front and back tabs. Okay, so here's where we are. Now at this point I go ahead and punch a hole in each side for the handle to come through. And actually I like the placement of this one. I'm a little bit more towards the end. And I'm using my 1 8 inch hole punch, but you could certainly, you know, poke it through with a needle until you get it wide enough. Okay. 
Okay, so my, my holes are there for that. And now for this one, I would just put some glue on each of these and I would fold them both down in. And that's how I got this open one. Now for this closed one, um, I figured out which one was gonna be my front and I'll just go ahead and use this side for the front because they're pretty homogenous. And I'm gonna fold that back for a minute and put this down and then just fold this over so I know where that crease is going to be. Then I'll take this and just fold it over the rest of the way. It doesn't have to be you know, completely perfect because we're just gonna take a little bit of uh, adhesive and we're gonna fold that little side down. Now this will be one of our tabs. After you fill it, this will go down first. And then the back one will come up and come over the front. So go ahead and you might wanna take a little bit more care in this, but just go ahead and fold that over so you know where you are. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back again and crease it a little bit better. Now I'm gonna use the same closure I did last time. And I'll go ahead and go through that quickly. If you want something length, a lengthier explanation, go ahead and go back to that other video. But I'm gonna put a one quarter of an inch punch. And if you don't have a quarter of an inch punch, this is the standard office size. So if you go to places like Dollar Tree or Walmart or even in any of the office supplies, it gets you just about a quarter of an inch hole punch from there. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a, a black one. All right, so go ahead and just cut a very small piece of a foam that will fit in this little quarter of an inch circle. It's right here. And I'll just get it right in the center of my quarter of an inch circle. And put that right there. Hold that down where it's supposed to go. And put just put this right in here. All right, now carefully take this over so you don't dislodge it before you can really press it down. And then open it up and really give it a good pressing. And now to do the handle. So the coffee stirrers I have are seven inches wide, but I'm gonna cut one just three and a half inches because that's the size of my box. So I'll measure it out three and a half inches, which is right here, and I'll cut it in half. So it actually gives me the ability to do two of them. And then I will take half of my chenille stick, which is about six inches, and I will thread it through my coffee stir. Now do this carefully, because if it gets a little tight, you might get some bends in here. So if you just do little small parts until you see the stir, the um, chenille stem come out. And then I will pull it out until I have the equal amount on both sides free. So I have an equal amount, and then I'll go ahead and bend them down. Okay, and then I'll just slide this through and put it up where I like it and then bend that one up and then slide this one through. And until I can tell it looks even when I eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then bend that one up. Okay, and I think that that flat part on top makes it look more like a toolbox or a work box than uh, the other one did. And this one maybe gives it a little more neutral or masculine kind of look. I do like the open one as well. If you just want to throw some things in there that are a little bit taller than the box, that would be great too. All right, so let me put that here for just a minute and let me just finish this one off and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and finished this one off and I kept it pretty simple. You could use whatever stickers or die cuts. I mean, the stores are full of them. Dollar Tree is full of them. Um, so you can find a lot of different stickers that you might want to finish off your box with. Um, but I thought it would be beautiful as well to put um, just a reminder of John 3.16 because after all, God loved us so much that he sent his only beloved son into the world to die for us so that we could have eternal life. And that is the most precious kind of love. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this addendum, and if you were looking something perhaps a little bit more masculine that's still pretty quick to make, then I hope you enjoyed this. Um, so if you need more information, I'm posting this video on the same page as the other one on my website. Uh, go to rejoiceandcreate.com. Please subscribe if you like these videos, and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of new videos as I upload them. And as always, until we meet again, I hope your days are blessed. Bye!